A U.S. delegation including two former senior U.S. officials has arrived in Taiwan for post-election talks. And this along with reinforcing the U.S. government's time-honored interest in maintaining peace across the Taiwan Strait. Now their arrival comes just today after Lai ching Te from Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party or the DPP won the presidential elections on Saturday. Now, the U.S. delegation includes former National Security Advisor Stephen Hadley and the chair of American Institute in Taiwan, Laura Rosenberger. Hadley had served as a U.S. National Security Advisor from 2005 to 2009 under former U.S. President George Bush. Their arrival comes just hours after former Deputy Secretary of State James Steinberg landed in Taoyuan. The Taiwanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomed the U.S. delegation who will be staying in the East Asian nation until Tuesday. Now, the delegation met President Tsai Ing-wen and commenting on the meet, President Tsai said that U.S. visit shows close and staunch relation partnership with Taiwan. The U.S. Department of State had congratulated Lai on his victory in the presidential election on Saturday. It had also expressed eagerness to collaborate with Lai and Taiwan's leaders from all political parties. This is to advance their shared interests and values to continue their long-standing unofficial relationship. Now, on this, of course, there was a reaction from China. China later accused the U.S. of sending Taiwan, quote-unquote, a gravely wrong signal and pushing for its independence. Beijing described the U.S. message congratulating the new Taiwanese president as a betrayal of Washington's pledge to keep diplomatic relations with Taiwan as unofficial. In response to all the comments from China, Taiwan has told Beijing to face reality and give up suppressing the island. This as China remains stern on its stance on cross-strait relations. China has claimed that its reunification with Taiwan remains inevitable. After Taiwan disregarded Beijing's warnings and elected pro-sovereignty candidate Lai ching te as president, the self-governing island is threatening to become independent. To this, China's top diplomat issued a warning on Sunday, saying that any move in that direction would be harshly punished. Standing in solidarity with China, the South Pacific nation of Nauru has now said that it was severing its diplomatic ties with Taiwan and would instead recognize China. In response to this, Taiwan's foreign ministry announced that it will quote-unquote terminate its diplomatic relations with Nauru.